welcome back to Exquisite Glow. So I know that last week was an extremely busy week here on Exquisite Glow and I thank you so so much for bearing with me and not getting sick of seeing my face every single day. It was seriously so like time consuming but it was so worth it because it was really fun for me and it's something that I like to do. So I do hope that you enjoyed all the videos that I posted last week. Like I promised, I did say that I was going to be showing you guys my Morphe brushes haul. Uh, before my LA getaway, LA getaway that rhymes, um, I actually placed an order with Hot Look on my phone, on my app, because Morphe brushes was having a sale on there and they were um, having a really, really good sale on their eyeshadow palettes. Note that the eyeshadows in the eyeshadow palettes are not the same eyeshadows as the individual eyeshadows in the actual Morphe store. So yeah, except for the Jaclyn Hill Favorites palette. That's the only palette that I know of so far that actually is eyeshadows from their individuals that they have in the store. So all of their other eyeshadow palettes are not eyeshadows that they have in the store, you know, for sale or like individual. So if you run out, you run out and that's it. You gotta buy the whole palette all over again. Like, but anyways, I did place an order, a quite large order, may I say. Um, on Hot Look, I got it here and I wanna show you guys, but the reason why I held off from showing you guys my purchase through Holt Look was because I ended up going to LA and I'm like, I'm gonna visit that Burbank store, which I did, as you probably saw in my vlog video. Um, if you missed that, I'll go ahead and link all of my LA videos down below, like everything that had to do with my whole LA trip, I'll put them down below. You're probably sick of hearing about it, but I was so excited and I mean, I still have stuff to show you guys from that trip. So I did visit the Morphe store there it was uh, really, really cute. Everyone was super nice. Everyone like offered help, asked me if I had questions on anything. And I'm over here on my phone like, yeah, I'm trying to get all these brushes that everybody talks about on like, mm, on what is it? YouTube? Really? <laughs> Um, yeah, on YouTube. So I was looking for the brushes and I had my husband helping me look for brushes that I saw on, you know, the description bar or whatever. Um, so yeah, I bought a few things and I did use Manny MUA's discount code because I love Manny. And I'm like, hey, can I use his code? They're like, yeah, you can. I'm like, yeah. So I did. And um, yeah, so I got it back. I mean, it's not a huge, but it did hurt when I paid because... <laughs> That's expensive. That's expensive. Um, anyways, let's go ahead actually and get started with the brushes. What I got from the actual store, and then I'll show you what I got from Hold Look. Although Hold Look was first, but I'm more excited about the brushes. Um, so yeah, here's my long receipt. Nobody needs to see that. Um, and let's see. Here are the brushes that I got. I mean, it's not. It's not tons of them, um, but anyways, uh, the first brush that I got is the E22 brush, which is kind of like a tapered uh, little blending brush, and it looks like this. That's what that one looks like. That's the E22, and then I also got the, this one here is the E36, and this one is a pencil brush, but the reason why I got this specific pencil brush is because it's really, um, good for blending underneath the eye, the um, lash line, and it doesn't pull because it's not extremely like stiff. Like you can actually like move the bristles around. So that's good. You don't want to mess up your under eye area because it's really sensitive down there too, you know? Um, and then the other brush that I got is this one here. This is a blending brush. I'm really into blending brushes because blending is key to having a good eye makeup look. This one is the E23, so it's um, not as tapered as the other one that I showed first. It's a little bit more domed, as you can see, and it's more fluffy. The E22 was more tapered. See how it goes to a point? And this one doesn't go to a point. This one go doesn't go to a point, this one does, okay? Then the next brush that I got was this one. 
The next brush that I got is this one here. This is a big one. This one I got for highlighting, although I think it is kind of big, but it's okay. Um, this is the M500. I think Jaclyn Hill likes one that is not this one. I'm not sure. I don't remember, but it looks like this one, but I think it's a smaller one, but I got this one because I got big old cheek, cheekbones here. So yeah, so I got that one and it's super cool. I never had a brush like that. And then the other one that I got is the E39, and this one is more of a uh, lip brush or very detailed brush, like for detailed work. It's super small. Let me bring you in. Let me bring you in. And the last three brushes that I got are from their Gunmetal Collection. Um, I got the G17, which is, again, another fluffy brush. And this one is very, like, look, it moves really good. Okay, got that one. Um, I got the Morphe G23 fan brush for highlighting. I thought, why not? Look at that. Oh, okay. So I'm excited about that. And then the last one, this one is more of a foundation brush. It's a domed brush, but it's really dense, which means that your foundation won't seep through to the middle because it'll sit on top because it is so packed that it's not gonna allow your foundation to go in there. Whereas if you use a foundation brush that's a little bit more you know, movable, your foundation is gonna go in there and it's not gonna sit on top. This one's gonna give you a really nice finish with your foundation. And I'm really excited to use this with my um, double wear or any foundation really. But yeah, this is the G1. And they did have a larger one, but I thought that this one would be a good size to work on my face because my face isn't that big. And plus the areas are kind of small. Does that make sense? <laughs> So those were all the brushes that I purchased from the Morphe store. All right, so now we're gonna talk about my Holt look purchase. This is the box. I got a big old box. And let's open it. This is what's in the box. All right, so let's talk palettes. I actually went ahead and took everything out of their boxes. The box looks like this. It's a black matte cardboard box that says Morphe brushes on it. Um, but inside the box, it comes in this bubble wrap. So your palette is really well protected. As you can see, it's very slick, very thin, and it sounds flimsy and breakable, but I mean, I've traveled with my Jaclyn Hill Favorites palette and it's been fine. So I'm sure this is fine as long as you don't toss it across the room like a Frisbee, then you'll be okay. Um, the first palette that I'm going to share with you guys is the 06F. And this is actually a kind of like a highlight and contouring palette. This is what it looks like. It has six shades, as you can see here. This palette here on the Morphe site runs for $37.99. I got my palette for... $12. That's how much I paid for my palette. And I got it because I want to put it in my actual uh, freelancing kit because I feel like they're really good colors to have for contouring and highlighting. Look at that. Okay, that's super pigmented. Really pigmented. So I'm really excited to give this some use. For my eyeshadow palettes that I got through Holt Look, I paid $15 for each one of them, okay? So note, that is how much I paid, $15. And then I'll let you know how much they are on the Morphe site. The palette that I'm going to show you next is the 35N. So this palette here is the 35N palette. This is an all matte shades palette, which is a perfect palette to have in a makeup um, artist kit because I mean look at the shades are all matte you have when I look at it I see warms and I see cools which is perfect and the fact that they are matte shades makes it a perfect palette for transitioning colors so I'm really excited that I have this again I paid $15 for this palette and on the Morphe website this palette runs for $39.99 guys so I really got a deal with this baby I am so happy that I found Morphe on Holt Look and thank you to actually Nicole from Young Wild and Polish who mentioned it in one of her videos. That's when I actually went on there right away and like shopped till I dropped pretty much. Um, the next palette I'm going to show you 
is the 35D palette. This one here is kind of like a darker, smoky shadows um, palette. This is a mixture of mattes and shimmers and I think some satins in here. I mean, to me, some of them look very foil, very foil type of shadows. This one, again, is the 35D palette. I paid $15 for this palette and it runs for $44.99 on the Morphe site. Look at the colors. Look at how pretty they are. I'll go ahead and do a um, close-up of them at the end of the video. The next palette I want to show you, this is the 35E palette. This is, it's called It's Bling Eye. This one has very warm and, you know, shimmery shades, kind of foiled at the same time. It's a really gorgeous color. It's very salmon-y, very golden. It does have some purples in there. They're gorgeous colors. Again, $15 is what I paid. In this palette, it runs for $44.99 as well on the Morphe site. So, oh my God, I am so happy with these shadows. You have no freaking idea. I think that the light's kind of washing the shades out, but again, I'll do a close-up at the end. Okay, the last palette that I got from Morphe is this one. This is the 10 uh, Shades Concealer Palette. This one here, I paid $9 for this palette. This palette usually runs for, this palette runs for $29.99 on the Morphe site. Yeah, $29.99 on the Morphe site and I got it $9. I got it for $9, not eight. But yeah, this is a cream concealer palette so you know this is perfect for contouring as well or you know just concealing so i'm excited to have this in my kit as well um that is my haul guys that is my morphe brushes haul i do hope that you enjoyed it i'll go ahead and enter a close-up now of all the shades i hope you like them all right, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, just keep an eye out on Holt Look. Go ahead and sign up to Holt Look so that you can see what kind of deals you can get. I mean, they put in so many cosmetic companies on there and you can get amazing, amazing deals. I've gotten NYX on there for hella cheap. Obviously, Morphe for extremely cheap. I am super happy with this purchase. Um, and yeah, I'll go ahead and link Holt Look down below. I'm not affiliated with them, but I'll link it just to be nice, you know because I want to be nice and I want you to find it easily because I think that you should take advantage of these sales. Um, I think that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already hit that red button. I want to welcome you to the exquisite family. If you like me and like my videos, do subscribe. Don't miss out. Also give this video a thumbs up if you also enjoy Morphe um, brushes and makeup like I do, obviously, because I'm so excited. Um, and yeah, leave me a comment. Let me know what palette you have, which you like and stuff like that. Um, or just say hi to me like in the comments, you know, let's start a conversation. Um, don't forget to follow Exquisite Glow if you want to see more on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and Facebook. That all is at Exquisite Glow. I'll put it right here for you. Um, so go ahead and follow me there so you don't miss out. Again, thank you so much for watching. I love you so, so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.